Uh, hello, hello YouTube, and today I am going to be doing a video on linking and appending. Okay, this is with Blender version 2.54. I'm not sure if it's changed over the versions, but if it has, this is just a video on that. Okay, now linking and appending. Well, linking is fairly obvious. It just links objects, object group, from a blend file to the to the blend file you want. But appending is to supplement, so I'll show you an example of that right now, since obviously that's the best, that's the easiest way I can do it. Okay, um, text. Okay, I downloaded a couple of file like file textures. I will put the links on uh, on the in the description if I can find them. If not, I just got these off the Blender website, Blender dot org. Okay, let's go materials underscore presets. Okay, material. You can link materials and te you can append materials and textures. I'm not so sure what else you can do, but this I always um, append my my uh, materials since they look incredibly realistic. Since people have actually spent time doing it, anyway, I'm gonna shut up for a second. Um, okay, let's let's go wood and go mahogany, mahogany board. Okay. Now that I have appended the material, I just go over here to the material section, click on the little browse ID data, and click on wood mahogany board. And as you see, it's changed the uh, it changed the settings so that it turns up like that. And I believe that at, yes, it added a texture as well. Now this is very helpful if you don't want to spend time making them. It's just a fast way. Okay, let's render this out quickly. And as you see, it gave a nice, fairly nice texture. It actually looks like wood. Well, it would if it wasn't a cube. Let me just replace this with a plane. S5. Okay, do the same thing. Render image. And actually, that looks in, that looks pretty realistic. If this cut, if this, if I was used, if I was to use something as a floorboard, I would pr probably end up using this wood mahogany board. And as you see, it cuts it off. But don't get me wrong, this looks incredibly re incredibly realistic. Okay, now let's do. Um, okay, let's do linking now. Okay, linking is useful. So useful when there's multiple people working on multiple bl blend files so you just link the Im so you just link the uh, object in the object group okay let's link um, let's go saved files and stuff Here you have to go group if you have it, and this one does not. Sorry if this takes me a little while, I gotta remember. Okay, here we go. So I grouped the this display case. So you just go up here, link slash append from library. And as you see it added in the object. But you can't you can't really edit it you can size it up and everything by pressing s yeah but you can't like uh, go into edit mode I don't think edit mode should come up no so yeah but you can edit the original file and I'll edit this now I don't know why I spent my animation I'll just show you what file this came from render image and as you see it renders out the display case so it works all perfectly fine but you can't edit it going by going into edit mode um,
I will just show you quickly actually how you group items so you can link them to other saves. So let's delete that. Okay, so there's a cube there, shift A, add mesh. Let's say we want a monkey that's inside the cube, like so. So you just go click one and then click the other and you can either type in uh, group create new group or press control G and now you'll see that it outlined it in green and I think these no, they're not linked yet but when I go over they will I'm just gonna name this group monkey and cube now file oh actually that's one thing I want to try before I do that so I'll add a material if I can file append I just want to put a material in and see if that links it in as well sorry if this is taking a little while let's go stone A Mm. Now nah, let's just go pine. Okay, select that. Wood pine. Wood pine. Okay, file save as. Monkey and cube. Okay, now save blender file. Okay, I've grouped it and textured it. So let's save this new three view file link um blender save files. Don't know why I keep click doing that. And where did I save it as monkey and something? Yeah, monkey and cube. Now group monkey and cube. Link slash a pen from library. And as you see, it actually bring the texture as well. So, so yeah, that's my little quick little tutorial on um, linking and appending. Oh, it'll be, there's one thing you'll notice that now I am trying to select the bottom bit, but you see it's all linked or well, grouped, I should say, because that's actually what it is, and it brings in this empty right over here and that will be the rotate point and stuff but yeah that is my tutorial well not really tutorial but helpful facts on linking and appending if there's anything else you would like me to go over just send me a message or comment on this video or any of my videos for that fact well thanks for watching